Today, we push the limits of Bowser's Fury modding by adding the level Super Bell Hill to Bowser's Fury. So as you can see, Mario is not in his usual starting position in the game Bowser's Fury. I added Super Bell Hill with some slight differences to the level, and I'll show you around this level as we go along throughout the video. So the first thing that you might notice is that there is a locked warp box here. So we are going to have to collect some of the keys so that we could use this warp box. So let's just head on and explore around the level. You can see that instead of a regular Goomba, it is a Cat Goomba, because we've got Cat Goombas in this because this is Bowser's Fury. We've got another one here. I removed the pipe that's normally here because you don't really need that pipe. I've added some trees here. This first tree doesn't have anything. You'll notice that on that second tree, that's where one of the keys are, so we're going to grab that key. And up on top of this one, there's a mushroom. So we've got another mushroom as a backup now. So let's climb up this tree. Let's get one of those keys. And you can hear the sound when you get a key. And you can see that there are a lot of keys to collect because this is a pretty big level. There's a lot to explore here. So I wanted to put keys all over the place so that you could collect these keys so that you could get that warp box. This one, another block that might make you hopeful that you're going to get some kind of power up, but it is in fact just coins inside there. So let's continue on up. I really like the wet texture from all of the rain. The way that this level looks in the rain is really cool. Got another block here, but of course, just a coin inside it. Take out a Goomba here. We'll go down there to explore everything in a moment, because we can see that there's another key down there. But first, up here, so normally, if you bounce off the Goomba, because the Goomba's normally around here, then you might notice that there's a key up there, and you might be thinking, how are we supposed to get that? You can't go that high. But then you'll notice that there's an invisible block right here. So if you get on top of this invisible block, then you could get this key here. And you can see that there's a pipe up ahead. We're going to get to that in a moment. Let's just first get this key that's normally down here. So if you go into the pipe, you're not going to be able to get it that way. And we've also got some Goombas waiting along here. Oh no! Can I use the mushroom? It looks like you can't use the mushroom as little Mario. You need Bowser Jr. to give you your power-ups. Fun fact. So let's get this key that is over here without falling, hopefully. There we go, we've got it. And you want to do wall jumps back up and safely make it up here. So let's continue on up. We've got a Goomba there, ready to take us out. Oh no, the Goomba got us. And if something kills you, like that Goomba for example, then what ends up happening is you have to collect all of these keys all over again. That's something that I kind of like. It makes the level a bit more tough. I'll leave the Goomba on that side. We don't have to worry about that Goomba. So let's just head on up here. We still don't have any power-ups. Whoa, that Goomba. I wasn't expecting that, even though I'm the one that put it there. <laughs> okay, so you can see that there's a pipe that goes along this way. And you might be tempted when you see a pipe like this. You're like, okay, look, we can't go in there because of the spiky thing. So what if you go on top of the pipe and you walk across the top of the pipe? But as you can see, the pipe goes down into the goop. And we can't see where the pipe comes out. So it looks like we're actually going to have to... Oh, and you could collect that key. I didn't even know that you could collect that up there. So we have to get rid of this spiky thing here before we can continue into that pipe, wherever it's going to take us. Maybe it's going to kill us if we go into the goop on the pipe. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But we can see that there's a sign here that's suggesting that we go down here. So let's look what's down here. Oh, and would you look at that? It's a fire flower. How convenient. There we go. We've got a fire flower now. And you might be wondering what happens if you jump onto this platform. The first time that I added this platform, here's what happened when I jumped onto it. And now that it is fixed, here's what happens when we jump onto this platform. And there we go. We can make it back up without any problems. So with our fire flower, we are just going to shoot a fireball in there, get rid of that thing, and let's head into this pipe. And here we go, into the goop. What happens? when you go into the goop. And as you can see, Mario still travels underground and we could actually take the camera underground and this is what the world looks like underneath the goop. You can see that it's all like light blue over here. And if we exit the camera now, you could actually see Mario traveling under the goop like this. So if we move the camera back up, you can see Mario's above the goop. If we go down like this, you can see that Mario is now underneath the goop. So we're about to come out from the goop over here. Here we go, the pipe is now exiting the goop, the pipe is continuing on. I thought it was pretty cool to add something like this where a pipe goes through some goop because normally that would kill Mario, so it was cool seeing Mario go through a pipe like that. 
So after taking that pipe, we now end up on the next part of Super Bell Hill. And this isn't where you normally enter the level, so let's continue on up. Let's see where we are going to end up. Oh, and there's another key here, which is nice. Oh, great. Let's, let's continue on here. Let's look at what's to the left here. So you could see that there's not really much you could do because of this large wall. It goes pretty high. We can almost make it over this wall, but this wall goes up really high, so we can't get up that high. You might be wondering if you could spin jump around it like this, and it's like, you could almost do it, but I don't think that it is possible. It's like really close. You could almost make it like that. So we've got another key here. We are now back at this wall, and as you have seen, it looks like there isn't a way to make it over this wall right now. We could almost make it over, but it looks like right now there isn't anything that we could do. So we could see that there's a key on the other side of it and a Goomba, but for now there's nothing we can do. So we'll come back to that later, perhaps. Up on this tree, nothing here. This tree is just some decoration. Let's head on up here. Up here, there's another cat Goomba trying to take away our fire flower. And we've got another key right there and a P switch. And stepping on the P switch makes this warp box spawn. So let's get into that warp box. And we appear up here and we've got some signs pointing there to the left. And it looks like down there is just where we were. But we're so high up that the level doesn't load. So let's just make these jumps from very high very carefully. Get that cat suit. And now with the cat suit, Maybe now we'll be able to climb up that very high wall, so let's go take a look at that. Let's head on over. And there we go, we made it back to the level. Took the level a second to load because we were pretty far away from it, but... We are now at the level, and now, with the cat power up, should now be able to climb up this wall. We get another key, only one key remains. So let's explore around here. There is a warp box here, but we don't want to go into this warp box yet. Oh no! The level disappeared! Oh man, I'm gonna have to collect all the keys again. Okay, here we go. Let's make this jump again. We've got that. And let's head on over here. Dive. And there we go. Back up here. Let's head on across. Get to that key. Climb up over the wall get this one. So the final key that we need before going to that warp box will be up here and we can easily get that with the cat suit. Now let's head on over to the warp box and the warp box teleports us back to the beginning of the level and this warp cube that was locked before we can now head on into it and let's see where it teleports us. Hey this looks just like where we were before except it's a bit different there are some fireballs there to the right. And over here, we've got a sign telling us to go up here. It doesn't look like we'll be able to climb up there with the cat suit, though. But this box right here is a propeller box. Well, let's just get on up to this. It's a ground pound. Use the propeller boost. Let's climb up here. And would you look at that? We got the Super Bell Hill Shine. So that's everything that I have added so far when it comes to adding Super Bell Hill to Bowser's Fury. We can still make the level continue on this way and we can make it so that when you reach the end of the level, it teleports you to the next level. So if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas or if there's any level in particular from Super Mario 3D World that you'd like to see in Bowser's Fury, you can let me know in a comment what you'd like to see. And if you'd like to be notified when videos like this come out, you can click the subscribe button and then you'll be notified when new videos come out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a fantastic day and take care everybody.